calling house is late. Where the hell is he? Today is a good day. Ross. Red, you came. The deal is off. He's not the MIT Gary. That's his evil twin brother. Look at his skin, David. He's transforming. Get away from him. He's a lizard man, David. He's a lizard man. I can't believe it. Oh, my God, Brad. That's not Gary Gensler. Get away from him right now. Flip the switch. I'm trying. Do it now. It's stuck. Flip the switch. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Turf Hour Script. Let's get right into today's very bullish episode. I can't even make this stuff up. You guys saw that intro. What an absolute piece of work. That was brought to you by Oscar R. Narsen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave his link in the description down below. That was absolutely beautiful. And what are the chances after Judge Torres denies the SEC to seal the Hinman emails, Ripple comes out and buys out Mateco for $250 million. And then a day after they announce this, which we're going to connect to the BIS Innovation Hub. Folks, you can't even make this stuff up. When will people wake up? Ripple to showcase real estate asset tokenization solution as a part of the Hong Kong Montour Authority pilot program E. And we're going to get into how BlackRock is involved here as well with USDC. It went on to say, with real world asset tokenization predicted to be a multi trillion dollar industry by 2030, tokenizing commodities such as real estate is gaining traction within the financial services and government sectors as a core use case. Ripple's innovative solution combining the EHKD tokenized real estate and lending protocols will run on a private and secure ledger built with the same technology as the XRP ledger. And some of you guys may wonder, will there be two different prices for XRP on the private ledger and on the public ledger? If you guys want to see a video of me breaking that down, and I'll tell you right now, there will not be two different price targets on a private and a pu uh, public. I will make a video, go ahead and smash that like button. Can we get over 1.5 thousand likes? And we'll go ahead and drop that video. The odds that this article came out just today, and if you guys remember, Project Meridian, innovating transactions with synchronization. Take a listen to this video and tell me if it's not screaming Ripple and XRP folks. Project Meridian from the BIS Innovation Hub London Center and the Bank of England is looking at how financial technology can improve transactions for a wide range of assets. The project experiments using the complex process of buying a house. It builds a prototype new entity, a synchronization operator at the center of the transaction. They electronically coordinate the simultaneous transfer of money and house ownership. The synchronization operator asks for funds to be reserved in the buyer's bank account so they can only be used to purchase the property. At an agreed time, the operator starts the payment process. It asks the central bank to move funds from the buyer's bank to the seller's bank. Simultaneously, documents are electronically signed, passing ownership of the house to the buyer. The documents, completed in advance by legal representatives, would contain the information needed to update ownership details on the land registry. And they're working on it with the Bank of England. If you guys remember the digital pound, a new form of money for households and businesses. 
just released months ago of this year, February 2023. They went on to reference Ripple on page 65, cross-border synchronization. And this synchronization is not just for FX transactions now, it's also for real estate. A joint project with Ripple demonstrating that synchronized FX transactions in two different stimulated RTGS systems can be achieved. And it can be achieved with real estate as well. Nobody has any clue. I'm talking about the retail individuals that are going out every weekend to go party and all that stuff have no idea what's coming down the pipelines. The amount of hard work, research, and have been people have been following this since 2017 are just so filled with information that individuals coming in now is gonna take forever for them to catch up. And let's get on to USDC and BIS again, cause this one's gonna make you laugh. This one is gonna make you laugh. This BIS tweet is gonna make you absolutely laugh cause we know now they're just playing a stupid little game. But first, USDC issuer Circle moves 8.7 billion to repo agreements to protect reserves from US government default. You know, this communication is coming from BlackRock. BlackRock is with USDC. USDC and Circle are gonna utilize Ripple's technology to scale USDC. He even said it himself at the World Economic Forum panel. Three and a half trillion dollars of transactions directly on the internet between counterparties. And and so um, if we can, you know, improve it with more scalable blockchain technologies like, you know, Brad's company, uh, pro- with more scalable blockchain technologies like, you know, Brad's company. Uh, pro- and how was BlackRock involved? Well, the Circle Reserve Fund managed by global investment management giant BlackRock added $8.7 billion in overnight repurchases agreements to the portfolio as of May 16th, according to the fund's website. You can't make this stuff up, which BlackRock is indirectly working alongside Ripple and USDC. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but they're gearing up for a default, it looks like, and communications coming from BlackRock. And this tweet from the BIS Innovation Hub. Apply now for this year's G20 tech sprint with our FX and liquidity technology solution to enable settlements in emerging markets and developing currencies. And this is a chance to win 50,000 US if you could come up with something. There is a problem statement number two they're saying, FX and liquidity technology solutions. Uh, Hello, Ripple's right here trying to fix this and have a product ready to go. But first they wanna know if they could do it themselves. Uh, so it starts on May 4th and ends September 5th, 2023. That's when the winners will be announced. And it's organized by the BS Innovation Hub and Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India is already uh, pretty well educated on Ripple. Even when we go on the Ripple's website, they publish this under their insights saying policy framework for digital assets in India. They've been working with India. Uh, here is Reserve Bank of India uh, website, which has now been taken down, distributed ledger technology, blockchain, and central banks. They refer to Ripple, proof of concept to explore the synchronized movement of two different currencies in two different stimulated real-time growth settlement RTGS systems. And the DLT platform they're referring to is the Interledger protocol. And then they also reference all of these projects, Project Jasper, Project Upin, Project Stella, Project Internet Line Rock with uh, the Bank of Thailand, They're all working on this together. They're testing out different systems, but at the end of the day, the longest, the most uh, scalable systems are gonna be the ones that that they're gonna choose. And that's just a fact. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and we will be back with another episode. But folks, before I let you go, one more, gotta bring this to your attention. Remember this, I showed you guys yesterday. DLT in the equity market value chain. This is from the World Economic Forum. I just realized something after looking over this. Ripple is currently at this stage. They're going full throttle on custody and buying up, well, first first of many, um, entities that hold custody of crypto in the future. This is a big deal. Liquidity Hub is gonna play a major role. And how is XRP gonna play a role within Liquidity Hub? Well, folks, We'll break that down 
on the next video. With that being said, we'll be back with another episode. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.